Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Venkatesh. Observe the given multiples of 37. 37 times 3 equals 111. 37 times 6 equals 222. 37 times 9 equals 333. 37 times 12 equals 444. Find the product of 37 times 27. You are given with 4 options. Option A is 999. Option B greatest 3 digit number. Option C, either A or B. Option D, smallest 3 digit number. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing to the channel. By observing the given question, it is evident that 4 multiples of 37 are given and the 5th multiple which is 37 times 27 should be found. If observed carefully, it can be noticed that a series is being formed at the right hand side of every equation. Henceforth, it can be anticipated that our answer will also be present in the same series. Let me explain the solution in step by step. First, let's split the given equations to find the trend which implies that 37 times 3 equals 111 can be written as 37 times 3 times 1 which is equal to 111. Similarly, 37 times 6 equals 222 can be written as 37 times 3 times 2 which is equal to 222. And 37 times 9 equals 333 can be written as 37 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 333. And 37 times 12 equals 444 can be written as 37 times 3 times 4 equals 444. Coming back to our question, we need to find 37 times 27. We know that 27 can be written as the product of multiples of 3, which implies 27 equals 3 times 3 times 3. Therefore, 37 times 27 can be modified to 37 times 3 times 3 times 3. Looking at our above equations, we already have 37 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 333 which implies 37 times 27 equals 37 times 3 times 3 times 3 and 37 times 27 becomes 333 times 3 and finally after solving this 37 times 27 equals 999. We have now calculated the value of 37 times 27 which is 999. Let's tally our answer with the given options. The first option A is 999 which matches with our answer. Hence option A is correct. The second option B says the largest three digit number which is 999. And the answer we obtained is 999 too. Hence option B is correct too. Option C that states both option A and option B are correct is true as the question requires a single option to be the correct answer. So the correct answers are option A and B. While solving questions like these, we should not always first jump into the solution by calculating the whole value like multiplying it. We should always try for a logical approach to the question by clearly looking at all the options and finding a trend in the given question. All the four options should be checked thoroughly. So there is a similar question which states that how can you get the numbers 111, 222, 333 and 444 by multiplying two numbers with one of these numbers being always the same. So you can pause and try before checking the solution. Let me explain the solution now. So 111, 222, 333 and 444 each have 111 as a factor. 111 itself factors to 37 times 3. We knew it was divisible by 3 because its digits sum to 3. The rule of divisibility by 3 states if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Some examples of numbers divisible by 3 are the number 85,152 is divisible by 3 because the sum of its digits 8 plus, 5 plus, 1 plus, 5 plus 2 equals 21 is divisible by 3. So the solution uh, to this problem is 
111 can be represented as 1 times 111 or 3 times 37. 222 can be represented as 2 times 111 or 2 times 3 times 37. 333 can be represented as 3 times 111 or 3 times 3 times 37. Finally, 444 can be represented as 4 times 111 or 4 times 3 times 37. So you can either go the obvious and straightforward route of having one of the two numbers be 111, then the second number is 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Or you can note that 37 is common to the factorization of all four. Use that. There are two possibilities here. In the first case, you are looking for a second number of 1 times 3 which is equal to 3, 2 times 3 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9 and 4 times 3 equals 12. But there is one more, 3 is also common to all 4. Now you need a second number that is 1 times 37 equals 37, 2 times 37 equals 74, 3 times 37 equals 111, 4 times 37 equals 148. So that's the whole list. So how do you do it? First of all, find the factors common to all four numbers and use one of them or any combination of them. And then for each of the four, use the residue multiplied together for each of the second numbers. By following these simple steps, you can achieve the solution in less time. That's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video. Thank you.